An elderly victim of a Portsmouth home invasion is speaking out tonight. Earlier this week, police arrested John Tebron and charged him with burglary, abduction, and attempted rape. Tebron is being held in jail without bond. Tonight, the victim of those crimes is speaking with 10 on your sides and McNamara. 79 years old, a widow nearly half that time. This Portsmouth woman remembers the first time she saw him. I was on the patio and he asked if I might have some yard work that he could do. He was out of work. Months later, she says he appeared again, this time inside. And I just felt uncomfortable. And when I looked around, the man who had said he was Mr. Williams was standing in my bedroom door. Jane says she convinced him to leave. A couple days later, a knock at the door. And when I went and said, who is it? No one answered. And I, of course, I'm leery by now. And I ask again, and they said, just a friend. Jane wrote a log of the events and told police. She said she thought he was behind bars. Time kept going. I hadn't heard anything. I've seen this. It's him. The mugshot of John Tabron, who's sitting in jail now for what police say happened next. Jane says last week she was sipping her morning coffee. He came in the door and around that way between the bed and the wall, and he knocked the table over and broke the table, and the lamp went one way, and the and he was just on top of me, and I thought he was going to rape me. He tried. He tried. Jane says she kicked, she screamed, then suddenly... He stopped. He still had my hands down, but he got right down in my face, and he said, shut up and be quiet. I'm trying to help you. Jane says he had his hand over her mouth when she remembered she was still holding her coffee cup. She says she used it to get away and kick loose, but stopped on the way out when she saw a crowbar in the hallway. I just, everything got black, and I thought, oh, I'm going to faint. I've been through all this, and I'm going to faint before I can get to the door. She ran to neighbors for safety. Police made an arrest, and now Jane waits to see if Tabron will stay behind bars. It seems like something that happened to someone else. It's been so awful, awful. Now, we do want to let you know the woman asked us to keep her identity hidden for her safety, so for the purpose of that story, we called her Jane. Now, police made an arrest after reviewing surveillance video from a nearby business and getting tips from neighbors. There are increased patrols in her neighborhood, and Jane says it's one of the only things that gives her some peace of mind.